Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use free MIDI chord packs in Reaper. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our browser and search free MIDI chord packs. But we don't want to choose any of the paid for versions because honestly, it's not worth it. We're going to scroll down and find a free one. We'll go to the link that takes us to GitHub and to this user right here. Click that link, which takes us to this page. We can read all about this download. Contribute if we want. And download the files right here. Click it. We'll download the MIDI chords and the progressions. And once they're downloaded and uncompressed, we could open up Reaper. We have a project set up here, and I've already created a track with a piano VST instrument on it. See it right here? The Neo piano, which I mentioned in another video, how to get this for free. So it's a great piano to use for something like this. But these MIDI chords can be used with any sound source. Piano, strings, it doesn't matter. Close it. And already created some music underneath it. Let's hear it. So it already has its own chords, so we can choose some that go with it. Or if we didn't want to do it this way, we can mute the bass and instruments, just use the drums, and create our own progression. Let's go up here to the View menu and choose Media Explorer, which opens up the Media Explorer, and we can find those free MIDI chords or progressions. I put it in this folder. They show up right here. Let's check out the progressions first. Major or minor. They start playing automatically through this track. Just choose a different progression. Let's say we liked this one. Let's move this out of the way and just drag it into this track like this and drop it. Make sure our grid and snapping is turned on. And we should hear this through the piano. And just like that, we created a progression. And we could build around this if we want. Let's try another. In a different key. Let's choose this one, drag it in and drop it. Now we could build around this progression. Well, like I said before, just drag in our own chords. Let's delete this. And instead, let's unmute these two. Let's hear it again to see what chords we need. That first chord sounds like an A flat. Of course, you could do this by trial and error if you're not sure of the chords. Let's choose the MIDI chords right here. Let's choose the key, which I happen to know is E flat major right here. And we could choose triads, sevenths, and ninths, or all chords, or other progressions. Let's keep it simple and use the triads. In major, now we can see all the chords in this key. The one chord, the two chord, and so on. So all these chords should fit in this key. So let's start with the A flat minor and drag it in right here to bar one and drop it. Now you notice it's a bit too short for the length it needs to be. It 
it should go to about here. So I'll stretch it both on the PC, option on the Mac, like this. And now it should be the perfect length. Now let's add a passing chord right here. I happen to know it's a B flat right here. Drag it in and drop it. And let's make this one shorter. Stretch it like this. And in bar three, it goes to a C minor. Again, you could try these until you find the chord you want. I just happen to know which one it is. Grab a C minor and drop it right here. Again, we'll stretch it to this length. And the final passing chord right here is an E flat. Let's choose it right here, drag it in. And again, it goes too long, so we'll stretch it so it stops at bar five. So now we have a progression. Now, before we copy this to the rest of the song, we could also make these chords more interesting. Again, by trial and error, or if you happen to know what chords you prefer. Let's go back to all chords in this key. And for the first chord, the A flat, right here, we could try out adding the two, or the six, or maybe the ninth. Let's try the seventh. Drag it in and drop it. And because we put it on top of another chord, Reaper wants to know if we want to insert it on top of, create a new take, or replace the target media with the source media, which is what we want to do. Let's also choose the option to stretch the source media to fit the target. So it'll be the same length as the previous chord. So now we have the seventh instead. But I don't think I like it. Let's try instead the six. Or the second. Drag it in and drop it. Choose the same option. And it replaced and stretched this chord. So it's the same size as the previous. And it should be more interesting with the two added to the chord. Let's try something similar with the passing chord. The B flat. Let's try the two or the six. Drop it, replace it. Let's try the sixth instead. Drop it, replace it, and let's hear our progression. I'm kind of liking that. And to edit this as one piece, let's double click our track and glue the item. Right click right here, and now it's one MIDI item. So we can double click it and edit it right from here. We could add notes, delete them, adjust the velocity, anything we normally do with MIDI in Reaper. But now let's turn off looping and instead let's drag this out so it loops through the whole song. And then we could hear our finished product.
sounds pretty good. Now, there's one more thing I want to mention. There's no such thing as pro-level chords. Chords are just a group of notes. So please don't spend your hard-earned money paying for something like this. Well, I haven't gone through every chord and progression in here. I'm sure this type of thing should be everything you need. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use free MIDI chord packs in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. You're killing me, Smalls. Oh!